Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Dear Downloads, episode 15. What's going on, Connor? Uh, this week we're talking about PlayStation Plus versus uh, Xbox Game Pass versus Xbox Gold. A uh, little track back on PlayStation 5, now that it's been out for a little while. And then uh, games that yank on our hearts a little bit. Just cover a little bit of news as well. What's up, Connor? Hey, buddy. I just started playing uh, Hitman 3 now that that's out. Did you? Yeah. I, I was playing that yesterday. Oh, man. What do you think, dude? Oh, man. I like it. I'm having a good time. How far have you made it into it so far? Dude, not far. I'm, I'm in the first mission. Not far. I just played it just before we started taping. So I in okay. installed it so this you're morning. you're still in Dubai? Yeah, I'm in Dubai in the tower. I've like okay. I've like messed around and ran around the whole thing to get like familiar with it just so I could like badass yep. it and now I'm I'm gonna restart it. Okay. I feel like you should just finish it, bro, and then go back again and do it again. I mean that's like the fun of those levels is just like figuring out different ways to like kill the dude. Well, I kinda messed up already and then I oh. I didn't have a good save point where I liked <clears throat> it. Like I got a, a security uniform and then they already found me out. Sure. You know? I was like, Oh yeah. Well shit well oh well and I yeah i'm to the third level now so oh shit okay i've been i've been rocking on it dang man the second level is super fun uh you're in like this mansion oh, okay i like those i like where yeah. you're in like a, a yeah. big structure that you could do a lot of things like the, the dubai tower is cool because it's like multi oh, the yeah it's super fun um i'm liking it yeah it's cool I want to try. Yeah. Uh, I want to try and like you kill. I'm assuming you killed the assassin and took his costume to go in. The Zena guy um, on the right in the beginning. No, I didn't. Oh, really? Okay, because I did that, uh -huh. and I went and talked to one of the targets because he thought you were like some hitman he's hiring. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So I was trying to. I wanted to try and redo that to where I think I could poison his soda can or some shit for a meeting. Oh, sure. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we'll be covering that on our second Tuesday a little more. Go real deep diving into it. Um, what else have you been playing? Oh, uh, dude, uh, Breath of the Wild, Hitman 2, and some Apex. Yeah, that's what I played this week. Oh, shit. Yes. How you doing on uh, Breath of the Wild? Uh, you saw. I think you saw where I, I was last. I didn't play much off yeah. stream. I think I played uh, okay. a little bit off stream. But I'm not that far, man. I'm still in like the two areas of the map that I'm in. <laughs> like okay there's so much to do in that game i mean you'll be playing it for like the next year i can see that man i keep seeing the map that i haven't explored like when i just go into my plate i guess yeah i'm like jesus this game is huge Jeez, yeah i mean how many shrines have you done so far i mean there's the first four and then i've done like five or six beyond that okay because there's like 120 of them so yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, not, <laughs> I'm not anywhere near anything, dude. I went out into the middle of the ocean and did one, like on your way to Kakarika Village or something. I don't even know oh, okay. where I am. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's up north. I think the uh, ocean's down south. So, yeah, it's southeast. You're probably in a river. I'm southeast yeah. uh, ocean. Okay. Yeah. That's like way on the other side. They're literally on the other sides of the map from each other. Like, oh, here's, then I'm going here's the, wrong the ocean, way. and then here's the uh, here's the forest. Oh, I thought I was going to the forest. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. I don't know anything. There's this little island down here that is a pain in the ass. Oh. Huge pain in the ass. Oh, really? So stay away from there for a while. Okay. Would be my only recommendation. Huge pain in the ass. I, went to, I was stuck there for probably like a week. Oh, Jesus. I went to something beach. But yeah. So what have you been playing, man? Oh, I've been playing. Well, I was playing Hitman 2 and 3. Um, I've been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is so much fun. Uh, it goes into a little bit of uh, kind of what I wanted to have a little bit of our topic today of like, it had this funny story where like you're dating this girl from like 20 years back. But she's like actually a ghost and like it never actually the date doesn't actually happen. But it's just like, wow, because he goes to prison for 20 years and it's like. I don't know, it was just kind of sad. Dang, so 
So. You're playing it on a date that never happened, so he's like imagining it, or yeah, he's like imagining it. He's having like this, uh, I don't know, mushroom trip or something. <laughs> it tugged at your heart. Got you. Got you. Yeah, it tugged got... at my heart. It was like, oh man, that's sad. Got your heart ticker. Yeah, dude. The only thing yeah. I I was trying to think about it because that's what you pose that question is like, what games you know yanked at your heart. And the biggest one is in the Last of Us original when, uh, right in the beginning, when his daughter gets, you know, shot. Oh, sure. Yeah, it gets like, oh, no. Oh, yeah, it no. Yeah, blasted. And then you're like, oh, man, this dude, he's all kinds of screwed up now. And then it's just like 20 years later and you're just like, what? We yeah. don't address that? Like, it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> well, I think it just plays into his character, like, throughout the whole game. Yeah, yeah, and, like, for how sure. He, how he how he you know treats ellie and they're like uh i don't know yeah for yeah. sure but he nope. yanked at my heart he got it oh for sure yeah yeah i can't think of any other I'm moment right. in a game that like really just yanked at my heart really yanked at you mgs4 and when snakes like crawling on the ground like that's just anxiety as <laughs> that's anxiety man it's like fuck crawl faster bro yeah, that's anxiety. It's not like uh, I think the last movie that tugged at my heart too was like Lion King. Rewatching that and when Mufasa dies, the original one. Yeah, the original. Yes, the original. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Not not the like live action remake thing that they did. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. I haven't seen that one. Me neither. I refuse. I refuse that in Aladdin. I won't see him. Is there an Aladdin movie? Yeah, yeah. Will Smith was like the genie. Oh, I forgot that even came out. Right? Good. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> it didn't in reality. Yeah. It didn't actually come out. <laughs> Man, maybe I should watch that. We did watch uh, the live action redo of Milan. That was actually pretty decent. Yeah, I, I watched that. That wasn't terrible. Yeah. I feel like that story's just not super interesting. Maybe that's just me. It was still good, though. Like, it, it's like plot for plot, exactly like the Disney movie, and like the Disney movie just felt like it. Uh, I don't know, just the climax wasn't there. It felt like you're building up this like big thing, and then the big thing never happened. Maybe that's just me though. Yeah, yeah. I, the dishonor thing. You know what was the biggest letdown is they didn't have their like comic relief character Mushu. You know. Yeah. You remember him? He was like the dra- he was. Yeah, a- the little dragon. Yeah. He's the yeah. best, dude. Dishonor on fuck? you? Dishonor on your family? <laughs> I loved it. What else we got here? Oh, man, did you watch that uh, Resident Evil showcase the other day? Yeah, I, I didn't watch it live. I rewatched it on YouTube. Um, the whole, like, 20 minutes of it, though. That was, okay. that was yeah, cool. I'm, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll actually play the game, but, you know. Because I'm such a sissy, but I thought it was interesting. Because I, I think with Corona, like I think they're gonna have more announcements like this rather than like the big trade shows like PAX or E3 or whatever. I kind of think E3 is dead forever now. Oh no! Is it what time of the year is E3? Isn't that summer or is that? It's in May. In May, okay. Or April or not May? Uh, June, June, June. It's like the first week, first or second week of June. Gotcha. I just I don't think that's happening anymore. I think it is muerto. Probably. We'll see. I mean, I yeah, mean, it was cool. Why, why would you have this giant trade show anymore? Like the company, I don't think it makes a business sense anymore. Like if you can just produce these little videos and just shoot them out whenever you want on YouTube rather than paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to create these, you know, booth set trade shows. I ship all these people out there. I think yada, the benefit yada, yada. of like trade shows is uh, mm. like it's more of like a networking thing, probably for industry people. Yeah, networking. And then also, I think like, OK, so if if you're not a Resident Evil fan, you're <laughs> probably not going to watch this video. But if you're some other fan of some other thing and you're at that trade show and you've got an hour to yeah. kill, you might go see that and be like, oh, this is cool. So they like I feel like it's more exposure versus like putting a video on YouTube might be just targeted like. Well, and you still have like the console companies doing it like, you know, Sony and Microsoft still have their like big events where they announce a whole bunch of games from multiple studios. So I think you're still getting exposure for that kind of stuff. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. 
Well, it was cool. Like even just like everything yeah. they showed, the game looks sick. I'm I'm excited for it. I've been looking forward to it. I, I love the like cover thing where you're just yeah. like the guy like puts the gun in front of his face and the zombie is like attacking him. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like you're just gonna let the zombie like eat your face or like eat your arms? <laughs> well, you probably take less damage. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I mean, it it just felt kind of funny. It's like no, please, please don't hurt me. <laughs> That's great. I don't know. It. I like it that it's funny. a. It's. I didn't know it was going to be a continuation of seven. So that's what. That's yeah. Kinda cool. So you have like the same main character. Did you play seven? Yeah, I loved it. It was scary as hell, dude. Okay. My kids played it too, or one 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 played it. I was reading a little bit of news the other day that uh, apparently M two and Capcom are remaking, um, four. Apparently, they're having like a disagreement on what they want to do with it, where like M2 wants to stay, I think, more to the original, whereas Capcom wants to like change it. And I think Capcom took over like the whole production. So really, I think that's coming as well. Yeah, that could be cool. I, and yeah, that's what was cool about the I mean, showcase. They... It, it, it wasn't just the game. It was like more things. Yeah, like the Netflix movie. Oh, there's a Netflix movie too. Yeah, they have a. It's a Netflix movie, but it's a like a digital. It's not like live action. It's a. Oh, okay. I guess I missed that. I don't know how I did that. I think I stopped paying attention once Village went away. Oh yeah, there's a few yeah. other things after Village. They did like the the trailer. Yeah, they had gameplay. like gameplay, and then they had some shovelware game. Shovelware. What's that? It's like I don't know some game that nobody's ever gonna play. That's like trash. The Reverge yeah yeah that looks weird it's i i get it All right or reverse reverse it's like resident evil reverse. anniversary and like it's like a multiplayer game where you could is that what you're talking about yeah that's what i'm talking about yeah that looks interesting yeah. i don't think i'd play it but it looks interesting yeah i'm not gonna play it but i probably won't play the main game either so you know <laughs> well it's not your style I'll probably play yeah. it just just because I love Resident Evil. I mean, yeah, yeah. You played all of them? Not all. I haven't played three because that one terrified me, and I haven't okay. played. Then you should definitely replay that one with the new remake. Maybe I don't know, dude. Just the whole Nemesis guy, just like creeps you out, terrifies me. <laughs> There's the mods where you can turn him into like Mushroom Man or uh, Marshmallow Man and shit. Oh my gosh. So there if would you want to get just like, yeah, there would played be. on PC, put some mods in, turn them into Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters and call it a day. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, what else? A few little recent news things. Um, I bought a pod mic and I did a YouTube video like review of it. And dude, okay. I'm, I'm super disappointed with how it sounded. And your road. Yeah, the road pod mic. Yeah. Uh, okay i don't know i tried to return it i did return it yeah i shipped it out okay i shipped it out today actually back to amazon huh. and i tried so many settings i even like tried a different eq to make it just sounds thin and flat it sounds like it sounds like i'm listening to myself on a radio like it already sounds like you know how radio has that like, yeah you know that loss of quality kind of deal mm -hmm. yeah your your highs weird. it was weird dude so i returned it but I did buy a Rode shotgun mic, which sounds freaking good. Does it? Yeah. Were they comparable in price or? Uh... No. Um. There's other Rode shotgun mics that are pretty comparable in price. Um. This. Uh -huh. This one was like two twenty, I think, and the Rode Pod mic Oof. was a hundred. I don't. I'm trying out different okay. mics. Uh, just to yeah, just to like really. He's gonna buy them all and then return them, test them out, and then. Uh, I don't want to do it too much because I feel like Amazon will be like, I might do giveaways. I might buy a few more and do some giveaways or something on stream. And, okay. Because uh, sure, I don't want to get like black flagged with Amazon, like returning too many things. I feel like. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I just. I don't know if it's a thing either. I mean hell on amazon i've had them like give me shit for free like when i first bought my projector and my projector screen they like lost the screen and i bitched about it <laughs> and they just gave me the screen that's awesome dude so like 400 dollars screen for free because they lost in the mail and then it showed up and then it showed up yeah <laughs> that's all i've had like 
there was a period when the pandemic started and anything I bought when I was building my PC, um, mm -hmm. I got duplicate parts. Like I got, um, two firewire or two USB, like uh, PSI extensions. I got two of those shipped yeah. to me. I got two. What else did I have? But I only paid for one, but it showed two orders on my account too. So I returned one. Yeah. <laughs> like it was weird. I don't know. Huh. I think I've had stuff show up twice before as well. So I don't know. Shit happens. I don't know how they make any money if they're giving shit away for free and sending duplicates out, but not my problem. Yeah, they must have a decent markup. Did you finish building your uh, other computer? I know you were working on that. Yeah, I, uh, I actually ended up, everything's inside the case on my old computer. And uh, I just want to update the hard drive. And uh, that's it, man. Nice. Yeah, it's all in there. It's ready to go. So. Actually, I need another monitor. Wait, no, I have my old monitor. Yeah, I'm pretty much ready. He's ready to roll, guys. He's ready. Yeah, what else, dude? Oh, man. Uh, did you, I saw uh, Mallrats 2 is going to be coming. Mallrats 2 is coming? Is it? Is it going to be a, a Kevin Smith movie? or? Uh, yeah. Nice. Kevin Smith, he uh, said some stuff about it, and it's like the original cast, plus all the cameos, nice. of course, you know. Mallrats is rad. Yeah, dude, that's going to be cool. I thought... Oh, man. I thought he was done with the whole view askew world and then like uh, after clerks two, right? Yeah. And then uh, he did the Jane silent Bob reboot and he's like, you know what? I love all these characters. <laughs> I'm gonna keep, keep going. doing it. Yeah. Huh? If it ain't broke. Weird. Man. Don't fix it. Yeah. Man, dude, man, man, bro. Oh man. So getting back to Breath of the Wild, I was seeing this thing on uh, Twitter the other day where it's like, uh, looks like Breath of the Wild 2 is pretty far along. They're like showing capture stuff, like where they're capturing actors. So I'm, I'm curious on when that game's going to get announced. I'm really curious. Do you think it's uh, going back to your thoughts about uh, March? Is it end of March? I, yeah, I, I think March is. Uh, I think March might be it. I don't know. Put a buck on it. Put a buck. That's it. That's all you'll put on. <laughs> Bet you a buck, Connor. All right, I'll it put comes out and I'll... that it gets at least announced. We'll see something in March. I don't know if it'll get announced or not or released. Some reality but I of mean, info for Breath of the Wild. Yeah, some okay. some reality of info. I, I feel like something has to be coming. Um, I mean, they just had that like uh, that Muso game about it as well come out recently, so. Muso game, the Hydra Warriors. Uh, oh yeah, Age of Calamity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pushing. If you're into that kind of thing, they're pushing that like crazy. I'm like, since I bought, a, I know. Uh, since I bought a Switch and I like <clears throat> tweeted about it, I'm getting so many ads about that game alone. I don't know. Well, it has like a 10 hour demo or something, or two hour demo or something. So if you're interested, try out the demo off of the okay. Switch store. All right, I will. Oh, oh. That's one of the like really nice things about the Switch is that it does have like demos. That's rad, actually. I did not know that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of demos on there. So if I'm like on the fence about a game on the Switch, I'll usually play it on demo and then determine if I want to actually buy it or not. I I bought uh actually I bought Stardew Valley for the Switch. Oh, did you? Yeah, I went and bought it physical, and then I saw it was on sale because that sale they had on like Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. And it was $10. It was $30 at GameStop, and it was $10 on the e-store. So I went and returned at GameStop. Eat it, GameStop. Eat it. Ripping you off. Take it back. I didn't open it. You take it back. Take it back, you scumbags, you filthy animals. Man, GameStop stock was like crazy on Friday. What are you talking about? Like their uh, stock market cost, it was like a goddamn roller coaster. Like going up and down, or what do you mean? Yeah, it, it went up like fucking. I think they're like normal prices around fifty, and it went up to like eighty, and then dropped back down to fifty. Why? What was going on? I, I don't know. Because the the PS Five restock, like. I, I have no idea why, but I don't know. Kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, shoot, let's like. That's, Look it up. 
Yeah, well, yeah, or no, that was kind of one of the topics was uh, the, the PS5 is out of stock. Like, I don't know how many times, man, I have gone to like the Wario tweets or whatever and hit that link and it's immediately out. Like every time. Maybe I'm just not good yeah. at it. You know, I don't know. I <laughs> just, I don't know. Just always out of stock. Apparently, there is some sort of Reddit drama regarding GameStop. Can you say it, or is it, uh, you're just figuring it what? out? What was the Reddit? Drama? I don't know. I don't know if some, like, day traders on Reddit decided to revolt against it and then, like, short sell it, and then other people bought, and so it went all over the place. Weird. I am curious what the, I mean, I want to save that for a future episode, like what the future of brick and mortar is, because like, it's, yeah, well, you know, I don't, I like to, buy, I don't know, we could say it for now, but I like to buy things physical, but at the same time, there's better deals online and what's the difference, you know, they might, oh, I find, I find that physical copies are almost always cheaper later on, at least, whereas the digital copies rarely go on sale. Oh, Plus, you okay. can sell the physical copies later, which is really nice. Exactly. That's what I like. You know, I could go and trade it in and, you know, get some money back if it's a decent game. It, yeah. do, it does suck when they're like, oh, yeah, it's a four dollars. <throat> Unlike the Switch, though, I hate having to carry around all like the extra cards. So like having them like all on the Switch is really nice. Not having to swap out the cards, especially if you're like out traveling or whatever. That's true. Having everything on the console. So it's like a weighing your options switch games in general are just really expensive i don't know what the deal with that is they just don't drop in price yeah well that's one thing i think is smart about the switch is like like discs come on you can get so much storage out of like a little like not like a cd disc or a blu-ray disc or whatever you could get so much storage out of like a little flash cartridge like switch has you know yeah but they just cost a lot more like from a physical like a you know you're just paying for the chips and the chips are expensive. Whereas a CD is really cheap to make. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, turds, there were my whole argument. I was like, why don't we just go to that? Cause I hate hearing my disc spin now. Like, Oh yeah. Cause I usually play like apex or like the last few games, I guess I've been playing have been downloaded and I've never had my PlayStation downloaded. sitting next to me. And now that I have Hitman three on a disc or I had, what was it? Yeah. What was I playing before? Like cold war. And Jesus, what else? I can hear this thing spinning. I'm like, okay. Uh. The PS5, you can definitely hear it too. It's really funny. It like uh, it normally doesn't spin at all because it's all on the hard drive. But occasionally, the drive will just like randomly spin up, like, huh? After like hours of play, just randomly spin up occasionally, which is really weird. It's very distracting. That's but, odd. Uh, I know. Because like the disc is just in there to like prove that you actually own the game. Otherwise, it's it serves no purpose. Maybe that's what it's doing. It's like revalidating. <laughs> yeah, you, revalidating that, that you, you actually have the disc in there. I don't know. <laughs> well, speaking that's of the other, like yeah, going into that, uh, we were going to talk about like owning the PS5 for a little while. One thing I did notice about it that's really funny is um, I keep putting games in upside down because I have it vertical and. Um, <laughs> For whatever reason, I keep putting games in upside down. Luckily, they don't get stuck in there because apparently that is a thing. Like if you put games in, at least when it was first released, it was a thing. Like if you put a game in upside down, it could get stuck in there. Oh, my God. It wouldn't eject. But uh, I don't think that's an issue. But I keep putting games in upside down, which is just I like the shape of it, especially when you're in vertical mode. It's not really easy to tell which way the face goes. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which way the face goes. It, it seems like, you know. The disk drive would be towards the top of the console, but it's not. It's at the bottom, which is why I think I keep doing that. Ah, uh, well, that. it has the PlayStation logo on one side. Is that where the head of the CD goes? Uh, yeah, the PlayStation Play logo is like it's like on the opposite side of it. So oh. kind of like we were talking before. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um kind of going into it i got it from uh playstation direct and they've still been trickling them out i know you've been watching that i have um 
I think probably the best way to get it, I keep hearing people um, say that they've been getting them by logging on to like Discord servers that send you a message when they're up in stock. That's interesting. I didn't, oh, I didn't even think of that. Okay. Yeah. So you might try that as well. Okay. For securing one. You heard it here, people. Like a Discord Sign server for... that has a bot that's monitoring a certain website and it'll Yeah, it's like it's a Discord server that has bots that monitor websites and then sends you a direct message to your phone when they're in stock, I think is how it works. I like that. That's awesome. So, I'm gonna so look you can into just like that. log on immediately. So well, that I... is how I hear people have been getting them. In addition to, you know, the Wario sixty four, but I feel like you have to be like looking at Twitter to like see that, you know. But you bought yours on launch day from direct yeah. PlayStation. Yeah. That's like I bought mine on launch day on at PlayStation Direct. I was up at like, I don't know, eleven o'clock at night just refreshing the page and it went through. That's awesome, actually. And then they and then they shipped it through FedEx, who fucking sucks and they wouldn't deliver it. Because FedEx fucking sucks. Yeah, they wouldn't deliver it, so you had to go to the store and pick it up at FedEx or something. Yeah, yeah. They probably would have delivered it, but it was just yeah would have taken you longer. Yeah. And let's see. News here: Stop using FedEx. They fucking suck, dude. I'm I'm the opposite. I like FedEx. I would oh, say I, hate it. I would say don't use UPS. I've had all the issues with UPS. Just use Amazon. <laughs> but they don't ship. They're not a shipper. No. Yeah, ship. they are. Well, I mean, if you buy it through Amazon, they're a shipper. And not maybe in Portland, but not 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 where I'm at. Not where you're at. Yeah, yeah they're, they're like the main. All Amazon shit here in Portland is shipped through Amazon. Like through Amazon drivers and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's not here in Phoenix. They have yeah. it, but not here. They don't have it here. So I get UPS, FedEx, or the post office. You know post office i also like the post office i do too that shit usually always shows up yeah at they, least until like the last six months they are consistent i like our post lady too she, she was real nice we had an issue and she really helped us out forget what it um was. yeah do you try uh Kinda. you try any playstation 4 games on it i mean i'm sure you have yeah i've been playing a bunch of playstation 4 games um Let's see. I mean, I've been playing like, well, technically Cyberpunk's a PlayStation 4 game on the PS5 because it hasn't <laughs> been updated. So I'm playing a PlayStation 4 version of Cyberpunk on it. And that play is, I think, way better than like on an actual PS4, which they just had a patch that came out yesterday for that, people. I FYI. saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Good news, Connor. You can like buy a new copy of it because it's down to 30 bucks. Yeah, I almost bought it for like 20. It was at the bargain bin for 20 at Walmart. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you I, returned I, it, got your 60 bucks back. Now you can buy it again for 20. Yeah, that's, that's what I was That's thinking. a pretty good deal. Yeah, that's a real good deal, man. Nice. Any others that you could think of that you played uh, PS4 games on your PS5? Uh, let's see. I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders on there. I don't know. Hell, most of the games on it are. PS4 games. I was playing a little bit of Bloodborne on it. Uh, I've still been playing uh, Demon Souls, which is a PS5 game. The PS5 games look just so good on it, obviously. But uh, I don't know. A bunch of games I think this spring are coming out with like updates that will add additional features and stuff to it. Like I know Control is supposed to have a PS5 update, and uh, I don't know. There's some others. I'm spacing it right now. No worries. Do you know what PS5 games you have played, like off the top of your head? I mean, it was Demon Souls. I remember that. Yeah, Demon Souls. I've been playing. Um, that's kind of the big one. I played like an hour of uh, Spider Man Miles Morales, but then stopped playing that. Just because interest or have... what? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's very similar to the Spider Man that came out like two or three years ago, and uh, I don't know. I wasn't super into it. Oh, I, like, I really liked it, but it just felt like more of the same. And I just uh, didn't need more of the same at the moment. I'll probably go back to it at some point and finish it. It's supposed to be relatively short, like 10 hours. So might as well just blast through it. True. Get some trophies out of it. Yeah, I think. Oh, Yakuza is supposed to have a PS5 update coming soon, too. Oh, cool. I'm playing it on a PC, though, so. 
what are you going to do? What about, uh, I guess you don't, you don't, you don't play it with a headset too often, do you? So you haven't really. I play with this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you... I like playing with the headset. The 3D audio sounds good. Um, I can't really notice a ton of difference between it, but maybe I'm just not paying attention. Like it, it's hard to like tell the difference when you don't have like apples to apples next to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You don't have like a control to hear the difference. Yeah, exactly. Like if I had a PS4 to like compare the two and we're like playing two games next to each other. But I don't know. It sounds good. The haptic controls, um they're cool. Um I'm not really into rumble packs or any of that shit in general, so I don't know. Is there still a rumble feature on it or is that like just gone? Yeah, I mean that's what the haptic is. It's like a rum it's like really snazzy rumble pack. Instead of having like a spinning motor, it's got like a little guy that does this to make the rumble. Because okay. it can like speed up way quicker than like, you know, if you have a motor spinning like this that takes a little bit of time to build that momentum where it has like a little pill bottle kind of thing that just like yeah. shakes essentially. And it can like accelerate extremely fast, which is kind of how they allow themselves to do that haptic feedback. And then the trigger is also like, will push back against you. Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask too. So how's that feel at least like in your memory from a PS4 to like now two months of PS5, like, um, it throws me off a little bit, to be completely honest, because like the PS4 games don't have it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like Demon Souls, like I don't know, Demon Souls has it, but it's not super intrusive, and I just haven't played that much of uh, Spider Man to notice it. But I, I do notice it occasionally. I'm like, what the hell? Mm. Why is the controller pushing back at me? Probably at some point I should uh, play Astro Astro's Playhouse. Because that's yeah. supposed to have really good haptic uh, feedback, and I just haven't played the pack-in game. Sorry, guys. Well, how is I've heard it? Good things about it. How is it going from uh, your? Because when you play PC, you, you use your Xbox Elite controller. Yeah. And then you probably another day or later that night you might play some PS5. Like, can you feel a difference in controllers? Oh yeah, I mean they're definitely different. Um, Obviously, the build quality and stuff on the Xbox Elite is so high that it's like, oh yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, so just the quality, nice you could feel the quality difference between the two. Yeah, um, not to say that the PS5 isn't really nice. Like, it's a very nice controller as well. It's just the Xbox is like real nice. I wish Sony would give us a Pro controller. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's I always just flappy paddles on the back. I always thought like I got my my PS4 one in front of me right now. I always felt like their their buttons kind of just felt like a little loose always. Like even the D-pad and the, the square and like the triangle. Maybe that's part of it. So there's like a little movement to it. Like, yeah. They just, they just feel like they have a wiggle, you know? I always thought that was weird. Yeah, I feel like the PS5 doesn't really have that. Just like, I mean, they have a little wiggle, but um, I don't know. They feel good. Yeah. I like that they're uh, kind of like, clear and slick this time opposed to like a uh, not slick plastic if you know what i mean it allows you to gotcha gotcha well i got a my ps4 one i don't know what it is i got a red one uh like last year because i like broke my original one is it a real one oh uh, it's yeah it's a real one right real. are you sure yeah it's by uh it says yeah. sony it says sony the well, there's a lot of fake PlayStation 4 controllers out there, in case you didn't know that, and they look almost identical. Oh, jeez, A real one. So, it like, unless you're hat. buying it from, like, directly from Sony, there's a high likelihood that you might end up with a faker. Oh, that would suck, dude. No, I bought this from GameStop, and they shipped it to me. Okay. Because I was worried about that on Amazon and stuff, because, like, I, that's something. Yeah, that... Amazon's big for that. Um there's, there's Hell, a, even like go ahead no i was just gonna say i just feel like it's hard to tell exactly what you're buying sometimes you know yeah exactly you'll know too because i think like the the third party ones that look identical won't like turn on the console when you push the button things oh like my that. god that's a so bummer in the ass oh, wow. i know right oh all right back on ps5 then i guess uh You've used it. I, I watched you too. To you stream from it. 
how do you feel on yeah. your end the streaming to twitch function is like what did you i think to, it what did you have to do you had to like link your twitch like kind of what was that yeah i just had to link my twitch and then you have to turn off um what the hell is it it's like the hdmi dmc dmc yeah dmc yeah you have to turn that off which uh is super fucking annoying but otherwise it works great which is kind of the reason i don't stream on it that often i imagine that'll be an update that comes eventually where it just automatically does it when you stream on switch and then flips it off it but, did it on uh, ps4 yeah exactly i i think it's just they're early in the operating system right now so as more updates come through it'll you know do its thing but um i don't know like in general it's pretty fluid like you push the share button and it starts sharing and you're good to go kind of deal like, like you could title your stream if you want and then yeah you can title boom. your stream you can also like control it like on your phone like change the title or whatever um oh cool i don't have a uh camera on my ps4 or ps5 but uh so i can't talk to that but i don't know it works great i don't have any problems with it yeah it looks great on my end too like it looks it looked yeah. nice it looked clean you know i was i was watching yeah. and then we're, uh, we're testing I, out chat you know so it kind yeah. of that all works the, the good. chat I, the integration is pretty good i imagine it'll only get better and um the only was, like the one on the one on the ps4 was pretty janky and um but uh, yeah I, I didn't see any like uh performance issues either that that would be the other true caveat is uh i couldn't tell anything that there's any difference really so that was nice one thing i want them to link or uh, that this is what me and amphi were hoping they would like uh have it native to the ps5 because like they're so cryptic on sharing like uh what the share button what's it called is it share or yeah it's the share button or is it create or create or share i don't know because it's uh it's share on three PS... dash lines three dash lines. that's it oh okay dot 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 yeah yeah it's like do 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 it's like oh okay like i gotcha huh we were hoping they would build like uh because i i used to stream from the ps4 natively but like, uh -huh. um, it's kind of the same thing. But if if you wanted to see chat, you'd have to see it on your phone, or you'd have like some. Si oh. go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say you see you have to like have it on your phone so you could see chat and respond there. Uh, or you can have like a pop up, but it was like a real crappy design that would show up on your stream that it would it would show chat to you on your TV, and mm -hmm. to the and the viewers. But it was like a really bad design, so it was like super limited. So what I wanted them to do was like build in some sort of like you could have overlays so you could customize your stream a little bit, you know, and it's not sure. But yeah, there's still not overlays that I'm aware of, but um it like shows up at the bottom of your screen and also it'll read you the text into your ear too. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, so it it's slightly distracting, like I could see that. I imagine yeah. if you had a bunch of people in your chat, it'd be real bad. But if it's like one oh or two people, God. it's not so bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's cool. The like thing that still gets me is the like tap versus hold to like turn it off. Oh, so you tap it to go to the quick menu versus hold it or whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you just tap it now to turn it off. And I, I still... Still not still getting it confuses me. Still not getting it. <laughs> it that muscle memory is uh, hard to bust. I don't know what to tell you. I, re I really wish there's a way to just like turn it off from the like home screen and there isn't. You still have to hit that like quick connect button and then like turn it off. They're, so they're trying to retrain you and then they'll switch it on yeah. PS6 right when you get the hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's not as bad as the Japanese players where they changed confirm from zero to X. That's true. That would be hard. Yeah, like 20 years of 25 years of being trained to use the O as your confirm and then change it to X. Like those people have to be pissed. Well, it messes me up when I go play like a like Metal Gear, uh, like original Metal Gear. And it, you know, it's... is it driving? Oh, here, here's the uh, is it driving you nuts in Breath of the Wild? Yes. You know what drives me insane is where jump is. Jump is X when it should be B. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, I, I actually tried remapping. Um, oh, you can do that. Re 
You can remap it. Yeah, the switch has a remap function. And I tried remapping the confirm button to the B button. And it just fucks up the controls super hard. I'm OK Is with it... that, actually. I'm OK with the A button. That's not that's not bothering me. Yeah, it's the other ones. It's like X and B. So like we're a triangle. X is where triangle should be on PlayStation and B is where X should be on PlayStation. Yeah. And B, like, I feel like should be jump. Like X is always jump in every game. That, and that has the and, jumping capability. But X is which, which button is on the switch? If you're B, gonna... it's B. B. There's a reason for that. Cause like there's certain like attacks you need to like push like the A button or the, uh, Y button to like hit while you're jumping because I, I tried remapping it and it fucked up all the controls. Oh, well, shit. Yeah, it's OK. I'm used to it in that game, but it just like threw me off for the first like hour, yeah, it, hour it, or two it hours. It throws me off super bad playing that game. Yeah, dude. Super bad. I wanted um, to go back on on the streaming function on the PS5. I had, a, I had a thought and like if anyone at PlayStation is listening like there's so there's this uh. I mean, there's OBS, which you can use to stream from like your PC uh, with a capture mm -hmm. card. Then there's Streamlabs, which is they have their own OBS, Streamlabs OBS. Yeah, and then I think there's also like a Switch or a Twitch like native streaming app as well. That's cool. I didn't know that. But there's this yeah. also this other company called Stream Elements, which allows you to do uh -huh. certain things. Now they have like web based overlays. So you can log into the, your Stream Elements account. And it gives a web-based overlay. So you could design all like, you know, like what we have, like the logo over it. You can have alerts pop up. You can have chat come up exactly how you want yeah. it. And like, I don't see why you can't like link your stream elements because it's just web-based. So it updates off your Twitch, like, yeah, whatever. And why can't that just be like thrown on top of your PS, PS5 broadcast? I don't know. I don't know either. I feel like that could be like an easy thing. You log into Twitch, you log into stream elements, you hit stream, and then it's fucking customized, you know? Yeah. Or just, it'd be nice if like Twitch just lets you do it automatically or something like on your stream. Yeah. They do have some extensions. Uh, I tried mm -hmm. that with PlayStation 4 before I bought my capture card, but it would only show up to people watching it on uh, like their computer. Like, so if they had it uh, on, like a, okay. on your TV app watching Twitch or mobile, yeah, you wouldn't see wouldn't the work. overlay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was kind of huh. cool. I tried that. That was kind of cool. Maybe there's a new <laughs> extension. I haven't looked into it. it. It'll probably mature over time. Like I said, it's the operating system's relatively early on it. So uh, they'll get there eventually, I think. They've got it somehow. Like, streaming is such, like, a big... It's such a big thing now, like it, especially with yeah. uh, like, you know, the coronavirus and everyone staying home like it grew tenfold, just like Amazon grew tenfold, streaming grew tenfold. But whatever, that's that's my uh, wah, wah. uncomplete thought on all of that. Uncomplete. So I, well, I was messing. Go ahead. Oh, go no, ahead. No, no, no. I was going to transfer to the I, next. I part. was just saying I was I, I was messing with the. Uh, with just like the share function and like capturing video when I was playing cyberpunk. And that's actually pretty sweet where it like it, it keeps streaming backwards. So like you can go back further in case you, cause that's one thing I always have problems with is just like remembering. So it's nice that it just like remembers what's happened. So you can go back and like edit videos and. Oh yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And it has a, like a cool editing uh, function on the PS five. Like you could. Yeah. You can edit the video. You could like throw text and like certain things over it too. Like you can make. Like, yeah. And then just like send it directly to Twitter or you can download it off your PS5. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. You could even put it to like YouTube. Uh, yeah. Or I even think in like you could even send it in a Facebook message because Amphi, Amphi sent us yeah, something, I, uh, a video he edited on his PS5. Oh, okay. And it looked good. I mean. I don't know. I haven't used Facebook in forever, so I barely use it, dude. I use Messenger because we used to have like a Facebook Messenger to like uh, when we were gonna play Call of Duty, and then I, uh -huh. and then I gave up on Call of Duty. It's all right though. All right, next topic. What were you going on about? Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, I, I kind of wanted to touch on what what you started with the intro. So really, like, explain to everyone like uh, what the difference is between 
Game Pass, uh, Xbox Live Gold, yeah. PS Now, PS Plus. Like, what what are the differences? Now, you have Game Pass and you've used it. So, I- yeah, so I have Game Pass on PC. I haven't used it on an Xbox, but kind of what it allows you to do is like Microsoft like released like all of their first party games are on it. And then they also like get third party games and like curate them. So sometimes they're on it, sometimes they're not. At least on it it's like what, ten bucks a month, I think is what it is on PC. I don't know the Xbox price, but like they just had like control and desperados three and I don't know, a bunch of other stuff the other day at his fence. But it's like this rolling, you know, list of games and like you know, it's kinda of like Netflix where sometimes they have stuff on there and sometimes they don't and then like it's like oh. Netflix for games almost. Okay. So like games go away after a while. Like there's like half dozen games that'll be going away. Like Final Fantasy 15 is going away. So it's constantly um, rotating. So if like yeah, you, it's it... constantly rotating. Okay. So sometimes you'll have games on there that you want to play, and other times you won't. But like the list is pretty good right now. Like I don't know. I've been playing Dragon Quest 11 on it. I was playing Carry On the other day. I want to play spirit fair and like Ori wins the wisp um Jeez. i keep horizon forza horizon 4 on it all the time because why wouldn't you yeah man i might bust i might bust into control now that it's on it because why not um i tried playing it a little bit how many how many games like without counting them all in a nutshell how many games do you think there are at a time 40 50 20 like 100 oh okay so a lot yeah there's a lot to yeah choose there's, from. there's a buttload on there um and what I, know, I could probably search and see and that's monthly yeah. it's a monthly subscription or you could pay annually or yeah it's a monthly subscription or you can pay annually um and then then there's xbox yeah. live gold which is annual xbox live gold so you don't need that for pc and that one you can pay like by the month three month or six month or a year uh, microsoft had a funny thing that like friday where it's like they announced they're going to update the prices for it and then they canceled updating the prices and then they also announced like all your multiplayer games like uh what fortnite and stuff like yeah, Fortnite, Apex, Warzone. You can play those all for free now. So that kind of I kind of feel like Xbox Gold is kind of going away, which is like Microsoft's answer to PS Plus. Which is like you get two games a month and then it allows you to play online. Now, PS Plus has become a pretty good deal with the PS5 because you get like 20 free games with it. Like just right off the bat. So it's like, damn, pretty good deal. Well, the and oh. the thing with PS Plus is you're required to have that to play actually a lot of games online. I don't know if you have yeah. to have it for Apex just because I've had PS Plus for like two years. Yeah, I don't think you need it to play like like the ones I just mentioned. I don't think you need it for like Fortnite or Apex or whatchamacallit to play online. OK, but like but a lot of the other stuff you do. I also don't think you need it to play uh, Final Fantasy 14 online either. Okay. Because you're already paying a subscription fee on that. But I don't know. I don't play games online, so I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't play that many either. Yeah, like multiplayer, not much. I played Call of Duty and and definitely Apex. I play that online like crazy. Yeah. And yeah, so and then so there's PlayStation Plus, which you have an account, and they give you three free games every month. It rotates. Yeah. And it used to be two, but now that with the PS5, there's three. Because they give you your PS4 games and then one PS5 game. And you can add those to your library and they're always your game, right? Yeah. And they're always your game as long as you have a subscription. Yeah. And added it to your library. Because if you don't... And you have to add it... If Yeah, if you don't add it to your library, then you don't get the game. Correct. And I think they've extended recently the amount of time it takes to add the game to two months instead of one. Which is kind of oh, wow. nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. And that might be happening this month, I think, is what I read. Okay. But yeah, which is kind of nice. I, I wish they would just add them to your library already rather than having to like go and click the buy button and yada, yada, yada. Go through that. It's, yeah. not, ex- it's, it's not exactly the clearest on the PS5. That's the one thing I will add is like, I have no idea how to actually 
like i have to think about it like where the hell do i go to get to ps plus so i can get my games oh i see it's not super straight there's no like plus button on the menu like there was yeah on there's PS4. no plus button on the menu like oh before. weird okay. i think you have to like go to your character and like go to the plus there oh, okay or, or your person that's I, I was looking at it the other day because i was like where the hell is this i was digging through the playstation store for like five minutes before i found it so Oh, it's in the PlayStation Store also, like on the left. Unless it's different on PS5. I don't know if the interface... It's different on PS5, so there's no oh, PlayStation God. Plus oh, on the, God. in the store like there. I was like, where the hell is it? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's some category hidden somewhere. It's like, what the fuck? And then PS Now is, of course, a monthly or annual subscription that just has... We talked about it last episode. It has like 850 plus games that they continually yeah. add to that you can stream and play anytime. And I, I, you can play it on computer also. If you have a PS yeah. now, you log in on your computer account and you can play those. I will say this. Have, Go ahead. Have you ever like streamed off your PS4 to like your phone or to your computer? No. Uh-uh. Because you can do that. Like stream the game off my PS4 or like just play a uh -huh. game from my phone? Yeah, Stroop. So like. Like remote desktop. Yeah, it's like a remote desktop, but with like your PS4. So you can like, well, the, I can play my iPad like in the other room with my. Or you can play PS4 or five games on my iPad in the other room, which is kind of nice. That's wild. So like all the yeah. controller functions are on the screen so you could like. Well, you can connect a controller to it, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's insane. That'd be cool. No, yeah. I'd like to try yeah. that. I'll try that out. That's kind of nice. But I mean, you can do the same thing with like Steam, too. I know they have it. Um, Microsoft was trying to do it, but I don't think Apple was playing nice. So they're still working on it. I see. Obviously, both of those features only work on your home network and not like remote remote. I see. OK, yeah, I could see that being an issue. I but I will say one if you're on Android, I think they work anywhere. Oh, Jesus. Good old Androids, dude. Android or Windows, I think they work anywhere. So, what kind of phone you have? Do you have an iPhone? iPhone. Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah. I don't want an Android phone. Me neither. Android's like Android's like the Windows ninety five of op phone operating systems. We uh, my wife had a Android. Yeah, she had an Android, and then uh, we just she went on to Verizon, switched from Cricket to Verizon because she was sick of Cricket. Yeah. I was like, you're getting an iPhone like and she hated it for the first like four days. And now she's like, I'm so yeah, glad I got used to it. Yeah. And she's like, I'm so glad you had me get this. Like everything is so much more simpler. I was like, yeah, I would go crazy when she'd be like, hey, can you look this up on my phone? Like while she's driving. I was like, I don't Not know how to do yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, I don't fucking know where anything is. Like none of these folders make sense. Like what is happening? Yeah, it's just trash. <laughs> yeah, dude. But I wanted to go back on a PS Now. I had a funny thing since I'm playing Hitman 2 on PS Now. Uh, yeah, I wasn't. I was in the PS Now dashboard. I chose Hitman 2, and I chose to stream it, uh, like play it stream, stream play it. Yeah, and then um, it added it to my dashboard. So then when I did that through the PS Now thing, it took me to the PlayStation Store. Like I had to buy it. I was like, what the hell? Oh. So it was really weird. I had to exit out of PS Now, go back to my dashboard, and play it from the icon it added on my dashboard. Weird. Yeah, it was super confusing. It took me like three tries, but then I figured it out. I don't know. It was odd. But so it's it's not streamlined. PS Now isn't that streamlined, but it works. Okay. I played the game. It works. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't played with it. Uh, I probably will at some point, but not yet. And then uh, back to PS Plus, they just released their three new games for this month. Uh, yeah. One PS5 what we got, game. buddy. What do we got? Well, uh, I do have to pull the list up, but we we're reviewing them beforehand. And so the first one is Destruction All-Stars for the PS5, which actually looks really fun. It's like a mixture of Rocket League and uh, I mean, I would call it a mixture of Rocket League and Twisted Metal where it's. Okay. A, a destruction derby um you're playing you know it's a madcap vehicular multiplayer uh where you're just racing and destroying each other maybe kind of like mario party too but a little more upgraded and updated you know okay well i think uh that was supposed to be a launch title and then got delayed maybe 
Oh, okay. Maybe that's why I heard of it. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be like one of the like five launch titles and then it got delayed. So well, which isn't surprising considering the Rona. It must be out now for them to be giving it away for free on PS Plus. Maybe they're giving it away for free on its first month, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. Could be. I, what else we got, buddy? I don't know. Yeah, so PS4, uh, PS Plus free games is, um, let's see here, Civilization Six. Oh, shit. Civ. Sid, Sid Myers. Sid Myers, yeah, man. I mean, I used to play them a lot. Uh, I, I like Civ 4 or Civ something on the PC I played. Because they're a, uh, what are they, like a real-time strategy, right? Yeah, exactly. Real-time strategy. Yeah. Um, and this one is uh, the first Civ to come to PlayStation. I mean, it came out in 2019. but um, Okay, but they'd never come to PlayStation before? No, yeah, not at all. It was, huh. Yeah, it was okay. They, they had like mobile versions. There's mobile versions of Civ. Okay. But yeah. yeah, I've never played a Civ game. The only like re- the real time strategies I ever played were the the Warcraft, Warcraft Two, bro. Oh yeah, Warcraft. Yeah, that's right. Love me some Warcraft. Used to build my own levels. Man, what the fuck, Blizzard? Give me a new Warcraft. I thought they did. Not the shitty online game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I get you now. Not World of Warcraft. Warcraft. I got you. Yeah, regular Warcraft. Give me that uh, real time strategy Warcraft, not your shitty online game Warcraft. Well, another new one is Far Cry New Dawn, which came out in 2019. It's a sequel to Far Cry 5, which I haven't played the Far Cry series really at all. I haven't either. But they always look beautiful. Every time I see a release trailer about it, I'm like, man, this game looks cool. Every, yeah. Every time. But yeah, so yeah, that's it. It's a. Uh, Far Cry New Dawn, Civ, Far Cry Bro, Civ Six, getting and, farred uh, and cried, getting far and cried, <laughs> crying far, cry far, bro, <laughs> cry far, bro. <laughs> what else you got? You got a note here. I think we covered that last time about uh, Square Enix. Uh, no, ch- 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 we trade- didn't trademarking. We didn't. No. Okay, so apparently Square Enix trademarked Ever Crisis and First Soldier recently both in the US and the EU. So I'm I'm curious on if they're going to make more. So like Crisis, the Crisis series, like, you know how they had, uh, I don't know, they had like before Crisis and after Crisis and then uh, Crisis Core and then like Dirge of Cerberus. So they're all like A, B, C, D, or A, C, B, C, D, C. Now they announced Ever Crisis, E, C. So I, I'm curious if maybe that's going to be the the title for uh, the sequel to Final Fantasy because they're all in the Final Fantasy VII universe. So I'm curious on if it's either like a remake or something of Crisis Core, which is like Zack's story and a prequel, or if it's going to be like the new Final Fantasy remake or some new title. I don't know. Yeah, something's coming. And the other thing that people have noticed recently is like when Square Enix has been trademarking stuff they usually have been announcing it within like the next month or so so um people have been saying online that maybe we'll be seeing something coming soon from square enix regarding final fantasy 7 remake that's super exciting or something else so it's a thought well dirge of cerberus was uh that was the one where you were like vincent right yeah that was like the vincent shitty third person shooter yeah yeah so maybe it's a a side story in the same world yeah so like i played crisis core over the summer and it's like i don't know it was a fun game but they haven't like re-released it or anything but it's like the prequel to final fantasy 7 so it kind of like uh sets the world up and everything yeah and it's actually a good game they're just Cerberus was kind of a shit show so yeah if i feel like because that came out after the seven movie right yeah, I feel like they. Were oh, like, and that's the that's the other one. What's Advent Children? That's a a C. Oh, okay. I, yeah, that was like the first of the like Final Fantasy VII compilation BS, which apparently they're like still working on. I've heard of Crisis Core. I didn't play it. I've seen. I, I remember seeing about it. But what was the B one? What were you saying? Uh, before Crisis, and that I think was like a Japanese only mobile game. Okay. So neither one of us would have played that. 
So Ever Crisis. That's exciting. Yeah, Ever Crisis. That's really cool. So, yeah. And then they, yeah, first soldier. So maybe it's like a, uh, it'd be cool if it was a game about uh, Sephiroth, like a Sephiroth game. Dang. Yeah. There's like, they need Before to do he that. Went nuts. Yeah, they need to yeah. do that. Everyone's so like cool. gung ho about Sephiroth, man. I know. And he has like the most epic tune. I mean, I, I for like bad guys in Final Fantasy games, I'm more of a Kafka guy, but, uh, you know. Who's Kafka, if you could remind me? He's the last boss in Final Fantasy VI. Okay, I, I didn't play that then. You should play that, dude. It's a classic. There's so many games to play. It's like just like, God dang, man. One of the, when I retire, when I'm an old man, that'll be the day to just go through need to like the whole library. Create like a list of like library like games to play for the year or something. Well, that's why like I like swap on. That's why I like our second month. Saturday because it's it forces yeah. it forces me to play a game you know like that I may have not played because play I, something that you wouldn't have played otherwise kind of deal. Yeah, I wouldn't have played Hitman two you know until yeah we decided to play it so. And I like it. There it's you fun, go. you know. Yeah. I would have played it this morning, you... but uh I played Hitman 3, so I wanted to get Hitman 3 in. I like that you cuz you have have you played any of them before? Or just the first one? Just the first one, which I loved, dude. It was yeah. so fun. Yeah. Like I love the concept of those games and just to like mess around. Yeah. They're fun. All righty. I think that about concludes it. Okay, bye. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. See ya. Bye. Yeah, no, yeah. We're at an hour, man. So uh yeah. Closing thoughts. Thank you for listening, everybody. Um you got any shout outs, Connor? Uh actually you know what I do have a quick shout out. Um probably not listening, but uh we got a, a YouTube comment from uh Pawan KU. Uh, because we did a, a talk about some TVs and he asked the question, any idea when Samsung frame? 2021 tv will be available for purchase which i didn't even know anything about those tvs and uh um usually they come out kind of like right after ces um but because of the corona things are a little bit funky so it might push to like summer usually they like to announce all those new tvs and then get them out before the super bowl because you know more fake holidays kind of deal but um this year, it wouldn't surprise me if they pushed till summer to actually come out. More like they did, uh, like at CES, they didn't announce any like the pricing or availability or any of that kind of stuff, which leads me to believe that I think they're going to be slightly delayed this year. I agree. So. Yeah, because the frame they released it in, in CES of 2020, I think. Yeah. Because uh, I tried to do some research to answer them, but then it wasn't available to market till late 2020. So I don't even know. And honestly, like. The frames are really spendy too for what you get. Like you're probably better off getting an OLED if you ask me. But yeah, agree. To each their own. Yeah, I think the frame is like a it's its own niche market. It's a cool TV. Yeah. It looks cool, man. And like when it's off yeah. and it like looks like a yeah, piece they, of art, you know. Yeah. But if you don't want to worry about like burning on the OLEDs, which really isn't as big of a deal anymore, um, especially if you're not using it as like a desktop monitor, then. I don't know. That'd be my guess, though. Time frame: midsummer. Midsummer. Okay. Yeah. Mid midsummer. I think after midsummer. I think we'll see it more like September, October. That's what I think. But I don't know. I don't know shit. I'm thinking midsummer because they got to get that shit out and like in retailers' hands before the like fall push for Christmas and Black Friday and all that stuff. True. All right. And well like a. Uh, TLC, they almost always release like their lineup in midsummer, so they're a little delayed. What's TLC? TCL. Yeah. TLC? Waterfalls. So... <laughs> TCL. <laughs> oh my god, what's their other song? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Oh man, I've had uh speaking of music has nothing to do with the podcast. I've had a uh, freaking the weekend. My wife was playing one of his songs, Save Your Tears. It's been stuck okay. in my head all week, every day. And then she played it first thing this morning. So I was like, great. Now it's in my head. So like it's in the back of my Thanks, head. Thanks, wife. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, anyways, thank you for listening, everybody. If you have any comments or questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please hit us up on Twitter. Dear Downloads. Uh, you got anything else, Connor? 
Yeah, yeah. No, that's it. Um, thank you for listening. And uh, we appreciate uh, all you guys stopping by, uh, spending an hour with us every week. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, what's up? And that's all it. That's all. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. All right. See you guys. Bye.